Hi and welcome to tutorial 105. In 104 we uh, I did a tutorial that showed how to use the non-legacy drawing objects to draw lines between the low pivots on a chart and uh, I had a client or actually a Gold Pass member who said well how would we do that if we wanted to plot uh, an indicator for example or an RSI and draw lines between peak to peak or valley to valley and so what I've done in tutorial 105 is showed how you could do that and uh, in fact we're going to be uh, going from valley to valley using the, the same strength pivots that we were using on the chart. So what I'm going to do is modify the program we created in tutorial 104 and also show you how you do this, the uh, chart setup. So we're starting here exactly, exactly the same workspace we had with 104 and exactly the same program only I've renamed it and applied it to the chart. I've called it tutorial 105 deval. Okay, so one of the first things we're going to be uh, calculating the RSI, so I'm just going to create a new variable. I'm going to call it uh, rel strength. And we're going to be calculating that. Let me just copy the name. Okay, control V. And we're going to say RSI and the inputs that's expecting is a price and a number integer and uh, we're going to, just going to hard code those we could uh, actually make them inputs but just for the sake of this tutorial we're just going to hard code them and then we're not interested in the pivot of the low price anymore we're going to be interested in pivots or uh, valleys of the rel strength. What we're also going to do is plot the rel strength. So I'm just going to go down to the bottom here of the program. I'm just going to say plot one and we're going to put in rel strength like so and I'm going to verify clicking a little green arrow pressing F3 and let's just go back to the chart and uh, go to tutorial 105. 104 and uh, let me just make sure we've got the right program applied this has still got tutorial 104 so just uh, going to insert the new program program here tutorial 104 just going to remove that so you'll see now the only difference is we don't have those lines on this chart and we've got the RSI now what we're going to need to do is because we can't just draw the drawing objects straight onto the uh, this um, uh, indicator we're going to need to have another data chart data 2 underneath here so what I'm going to do is go insert symbol going to make sure it's exactly the same as the one on data 1 and uh, going to plot that and uh, what I want to do is make sure that the the uh, the indicator and the data are on the secondary data are on the same chart so just need to do a little bit of adjusting here going to make that subgraph 3 like so and then what we also need to do is just check the uh, scale so let's first of all go to the format analysis techniques and I'm going to click format this is the one we just modified incidentally and uh, if we go scaling you'll see at the moment it's set to automatic we need to we need to fix it so what I'm going to do I'm going to make that 10 to say 85 like so and because we've done that, we also need to do it to the price chart. So I'm going to go format symbol, I'm going to find data two and scaling. And I'm going to set the fixed scaling from 10 to 85. What I also want to do here is just make sure we're probably not going to see them anywhere or almost definitely not. We're going to just make price data invisible because you could have a symbol that had got a pretty similar values to the RSI. Okay, so it's starting to look a little bit like we need it to look. Um, a few more things to do. Let's just go back to the program. And one of the things we need to do is make sure that the, uh, the, the lines are drawn on the data two chart rather than the data one chart. Now this is slightly confusing because with the new drawing objects, instead of starting with data 1, data 2, data 3, we start from a zero line. So data 2 is actually 1 and data 1 would be 0. But I'm going to make that uh, that 1. It's going to verify. 
go back to the chart now it's starting to look pretty similar uh, if not exactly like we needed it to look and uh, what you might need to do if, uh, if it's not looking like this is to just go here in uh, symbol chart analysis preferences and just make show empty uh, data trading periods for traditional data types just unclick that and um, the other thing that you'll need to make sure is for the analysis technique that this is set as a, the same scale type linear as the uh, as the price chart and uh, there you have it i hope you find this useful